bossy Betty at home. Or maybe a dictator David. It happens. It actually is quite age appropriate. If they're somewhere between the age of three and about six, they're just struggling to find their identity. They're like, and that they, they start to realize that they are a force in nature, that they actually can get what they want. Um, and that's, a, that's developmentally where they are. You can constantly remind them that they, um, my first is just a model. Can I please have? Oh, you mean you would like? And, and add it politely. You can, the other thing that I often do is that if I have other kids around, I'll be like, how does that make you feel? I don't like it when they talk to me like that. It makes me feel kind of yucky. It doesn't make me really want to do what they want to do. And just modeling it. The other thing that really fixes the know-it-alls or I can do it all by myself or the bossy Bettys is start doing things, getting them involved in things they don't know how to do. Things that they need you for. And then it kind of reminds them of that relationship they have with you as a parent. And they're like, oh, I really do need her. I don't know everything. It's a good way to humble them when you get them involved. Like, all right, we're going to change the brakes on the car. Maybe not a great example, but I'm just saying. Then find something that they can't possibly do on their own that they're going to need your help. That's probably one of the best reminders and humblers for bossy Bettys. And dictator, dictator David's and then getting other people's feedback just being honest oh that doesn't make me feel very good when you answer that that way oh is that how you meant to say that uh, it just reframing it for them I think what you meant to say was and eventually you'll get there I just know that for, for especially for those kids between like three and five, three and seven, you're just gonna have to do a lot of reframing for them, a lot of re, re uh, wording of it for them.